On this channel we love CNC machines, laser engravers and 3D printers. Today we test another powerful laser engraver from Orter. This one has a quite big engraving area. The laser has an electric power of 20 watts, which is quite high, and a luminous power of 5.5 watts, which is powerful, so safety glasses on. We can also get the roller engraver, so we can print on cylinders or round shapes. The machine comes with extra features that other engravers that we have seen on this channel don't, and in this video I'm going to show you everything, and test the laser with all sorts of materials, see what we can engrave, what we can burn, and what we can cut. So guys, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. Today we will check out the Orter Laser Master 2 Pro version. As always we take a look at what we receive with the kit, I'll tell you the main specifications of this machine, the pros and cons, we test it with different materials and then I'll let you comment below your opinion. So let's begin. This machine has a large engraving area, but even so the kit package is quite small in comparison. And that's because everything is well packed, and the frame is made by just a few extruded aluminum bars. In that way the frame is strong, but also very light. So we receive the metal bars, some metal brackets, screws and nuts, washers, connectors and all the small components. We also get the laser module, which is the precious part of the kit. And in my case, my model has the 20 watts laser. We also get the stepper motors and this connection rod, all assembled for the x-axis movement. And then we have this metal case that encloses the electronics, and we will talk about this in a moment. Together with all this we get the cables, of course, which I have to say, they have a pretty decent cable management, and this will make the machine look a lot cleaner and better. And as always we get these cheap protection glasses, but in my case I prefer to pay a little bit more and use my own glasses for better protection. So this is all that you get with this kit. But in my case my model also has the roller printer, which are just some more metal bars, some laser cut metal parts and another stepper motor with belts and pulleys. And using this extra component we can engrave round objects as well. And by the way, you also get all sorts of certificates and the user manual. And then assembling this machine was very easy using the videos that you have online or the guide you can find in the user manual. But let's be honest, mounting this frame is a piece of cake. There are just a few metal bars, some brackets and screws. And all you have to be careful about is the order that you assemble the metal bars, the belts and the motors. And I have to say that finally the machine looks quite good, isn't it? Ok, now let's start with some specs. Once assembled, the engraving area is quite big, 400 by 400 mm The firmware is compatible with the laser GRBL platform, which by the way is free. And to control the machine the board is using a 32 bits microcontroller, so with that we get more speed and also more features. Now we don't have the option of printing from an SD card for example, we must use a PC connected via USB cable in order to print, but that's pretty much the same for all of my previous laser engravers. But we do have a connector for an offline remote, and I don't have that controller for now, but it's a nice thing to have the option to control the machine without a PC. Like this the movement is very silent, and you can barely hear it working. And this is a huge pro. And together with this silent movement, we also have nice speed. The machine can go up to 165mm per second, which for some other models, that would be double the speed. The laser focus length is fixed, and we can use this metal cylinder to adjust the height. And the luminance power of this laser module is 5.5 watts, which is quite powerful. Now the electrical power is 20 watts so a lot of power is wasted into heat, but anyway. The pixel accuracy is of 300 pixels per inch, 
so around 0.81 micrometers accuracy, which is not that bad and we can get really nice details with this machine. We will see some tests in a moment. Now let's talk some safety features. First of all, the most obvious protection is the laser protective case that we have around the laser module. And to focus this laser, we can use the given metal cylinder. And all you have to do is to place it below and gently lower the laser module till it touches the body of the laser. Then we can flip the protection case in place and tie the screws. And this is pretty neat and also adds a lot of safety to the machine. And together with that, the machine has an expulsion duration protection. And that basically means that if for some reason the laser got stuck in one place and the laser would be hitting the same spot over and over again, the machine will detect that and automatically cut off the power that goes to the module and prevent a fire for example. And speaking about fires, this new board has a flame detector. If the sensor detects fire, this indicator here will light up and also beep at the same time. And of course it will also cut power to the laser module, obviously. And another safety feature is the position detector. The machine has a sensor and it would detect if the frame is tilted or moved around, in case of the machine falling to the ground or something like that and once again it will automatically cut off the power. That's a great feature. And if you want to manually cut off the power, we have this emergency button. So just push it and the machine will stop immediately. Ok, so finally let's talk about the build quality and the extra features. The frame is quite stiff and easy to move around. Each corner has a screw to merge the aluminum parts together, but also an inside corner for even more stiffness. The electronics case is made out of metal and on the side it has the power input which is 24 volts, the USB connector input, the offline remote connector and the reset button. I really like the cable management, because using these plastic guides for the wires gives the machine a better look and more organized because we don't have many cables laying around. I also like the small details, such as this support for the focusing metal cylinder right on the side of the machine. I also like the fact that on top of the aluminum bars, we have the axis length in centimeters or inches. And we can use this to guide ourselves and adjust the position of the objects. Another detail is the use of this connection rod for the Y movement. Because like this the motor will be moving both sides at the same time, so we can make sure that one side won't slip or move at a different rate than the other side, and by that we'll be messing the entire print. The machine has some end stop switches, so it's very easy to home the machine and move always in the same spot because the home position will be always the same. Ok, so enough with the specs and features, let's see some tests and let's start with what we can cut with the machine, because if you can cut a material, you could also engrave it just by lowering the power. So first I wanted to cut this 4mm balsa wood. I've started with 6 loops and almost passed to the other side. I had to push the part out just a little bit. And then for the second attempt I've made 8 loops and now the cut is near perfect. Actually I'm quite amazed by the precision, because usually with other laser cutters like this one, I wasn't able to cut this type of wood and even if I was able to cut it, the bottom layers weren't this precise. Because the lower you get with the laser point, the cut will get worse. I've also cut this star shape and once again I had good results. And this is 4mm balsa wood. So I can finally start working with wood parts for RC planes or other projects. With the same material I've also made this design for a small cube. And again the results are quite good so the laser is quite powerful and precise. Then in line mode I've engraved this gradient pattern on the same type of balsa wood. And this was to test the contrast and see how much we have to change the lightness in the GRBL software in order to get good dark spots and also good light spots. I've also made a big engrave with the picture. And I have to say that I've used the wrong type of wood, and the results were too dark, 
and sometimes we can see a small dark spot. And that's because of the wood and not because of the laser. But even so I was able to burn this picture in line mode in around 15 minutes. This is quite cool, right? And remember that you can go up to 400 by 400 millimeters. Next I've engraved over a sheet of stainless steel and like that we can peel off the paint that it had on it. And the design ended up quite good. Maybe I had to increase a little bit the power, but anyway. I've made the same engravement on this wood board, and this one ended up even better. Just by lowering the power, you can engrave on a lot of materials, such as wood, leather, cork, plastic, foam, paper and cardboard, take off the paint from metals and other surfaces, and much more. Ok, so then I've painted black a transparent acrylic. Then using the laser I've printed the same design as before. And once finished, once I clean the paint with alcohol, we can see that design. So we can also burn the top layers of the transparent acrylic. But if you engrave this without the black paint, the laser will pass through and it will burn the other side where it touches the wood below. On the other hand, with black acrylic, we have no problems. At very low power, I've made this logo with this small black acrylic part. This is pretty cool, right? Then I've also tested the rollers. We connect this on the Y-axis cables, and now we can engrave on round objects. I first engraved the Electronoops logo on this wood cylinder. I think it turned out quite great. Then I've made the same text on this wood part of this bottle and maybe this time the power was a little bit too high and the text is now too dark. This is quite easy to use, so now we can personalize our bottles and glasses. This module is also quite cool. So guys, these were the tests that I've made and all you have to know about this powerful engraver. This was my test of the Ortho Laser Master 2 Pro version. I've told you all the specs and the features and also show you some tests with it. As my personal opinion, I really like it. But what do you think? The only thing that I don't like about this kit is probably the manual. It's quite cheap made, small letters and not that very helpful. But have in mind this is still a low cost engraver, so don't expect high tech parts. So for the price that it has, which right now is around 380 euros, it really offers a lot. Probably till now is the best engraver that I had. I hope that you liked this video and if so, give me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. Hey, so one more video that ends, I hope that you like it. Ok, so listen, if you want to buy my merch, my t-shirts, you have the links below for my shop and I promise that I will make more designs. And also maybe you would comment below which one you like more and what more designs you would like to see because in that way I could start designing them and post my new t-shirts. So thank you for all the support and I'll see you in the next video.